Welcome back. Let's reincarnate Dune, the iconic 1965 fiction work of Frank Herbert. After the Hollywood screening, let's do it here. The main things we'll be doing include sculpting to create the detailed sandworm otherwise known as the Shai Hulud, the real-time power of Embergen to make the sand simulation for dust generated by the sandworm, fast and easy creation of a desert landscape and how to put these desert pirates in the utter horror of the Shai Hulud. To make the giant sand creature, we first start by making a base mesh for sculpting and that will be a cylinder elongated and given a bevel and a subsurf modifier. We add a displace modifier with cloud texture on top of it to give an organic irregularity. Applying all these modifiers and we have an organic looking base mesh. In the edit mode, we can just drag the center vertex inside to make it roughly into a mouth. In the sculpting mode, we remesh the object to give adequate geometry to make the big changes. Using the inflate brush, we inflate particularly thin edges and then grab them out to set the proportions right. We give some cavity to the mouth using the inverse draw brush and then using the pose brush, we open the stoma up a bit. For the ribbed skeleton, we use the draw brush to make some elevations in the topology. After that is done, we now use quad remesher to remesh the object into quads for even topology. This even topology is important for using the multi-resolution modifier for micro details. With further three subdivisions, we import the height map of the texture of the worm. Now, using an anchored brush, we draw the texture details of the worm. In the inside of the mouth, we use the same brush but inversed to give it a look of mucosa. For the teeth, we use a cylinder emitter with the hair particles and placed in the cavity of the mouth. We brush these hair particles to give them the appropriate look and we have our sandworm ready for animation. To simulate the sand clouds made by the movement of the sandworm, we export VDB volume simulated from Embergen and import it to Blender. Now, to make the desert terrain with Deans, we use Blender's built-in ant landscape add-on. Once that is done, we cut out the rest of the mesh to conform with the circular bounds of our base surface. The Desert Pirates are a band of brothers downloaded from Sketchfab and animated in Mixamo. One of them is injured and the other runs and falls deep into the unknown. For the animation of the sandworm, we make a curved path for it to follow. We keep our viewport subdivs level at zero to keep the viewport responsive and we add a curve modifier. The curve object will be the curve that we just made. If we now set the deform axis at minus Z and parent the sandworm to an empty, we can control the position of the worm with the Z position of the empty. This now gives us much more visual control over the position of the worm. We can now animate the position of the empty in the Z axis to move the creature in forward direction. Admittedly, these axes can be a bit finicky, especially if you do not have the rotations applied. So, you can experiment with what axis works for you if you're unsure. Likewise, this ornithopter is again animated over a curve. Giving proper materials to the sandworm, which we talk about in a dedicated creature sculpting video, and setting up lighting from Nishita Sky, we have our scene ready. After the render, we set this as the background image. In Photoshop, we remove the vehicles using context-aware fill tool and then bring it into the After Effects. Here, we add a hue saturation effect to decrease the saturation to mask the colors and feel of our render. A levels adjustment to add some haze. This is because the farther things are from the camera, the hazier and less saturated they appear. We decrease the contrast a bit and add a little bit of camera lens blur. Next is the usual vignette. To emphasize more on the sandworm, we electively increase the contrast of the middle part of the image by an oval mask. In these recreations, it is important to emulate the grade of the film as well, so a good reference for the color grade is invaluable in matching the look and feel of the scene that we are trying to achieve. Dune's color grade has a low contrast, dusty, warm look to it, and we've tried to emulate this in our color grade here. 
Finally, as always, fog and lens flare gel everything together. And with this, we have our final composite. Let me know if you have any questions. A video explaining the entire process of making the sandworm will be there on the channel, so stick around and subscribe if you are interested and it brings you any value. I will see you soon. Farewell. <laughs>